Hi, this is Larry Troca, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a characteristic that a cutting horse must have. I mean, he must have it if he's going to be a successful cutting horse. Without it, you know, you just don't have a cutting horse. So, with that said, let's get on with it. And see how catty this horse moves. Grabbing the ground strong. Moving his front end clean. Pay attention to his hind legs, because this is what's important. Watch how he spreads them. See there? Whoa. And you see how far he spread his hind legs right here? Yeah, look at the distance between those hind legs. That wide base is what gives him the ability to move his front end clean. You know, that wide base is stable. And so he can move his front end left and right effortlessly and not worry about losing his balance. Now, it's not this way with the reining horse. Reining horse, you know, we want them to keep their hind legs, you know, closer together because they need to slide a long way. And if they spread their legs too far, you know, that's, that's hard to do, you know. They're not going to be able to stay in that long slide. So, uh, but a cutting horse, this is absolutely necessary. If you don't have, you know, your horse spreading his hind legs like this, he's not going to be very successful in the cutting pen. All right, let's go on. See how catty that is? That is so nice. So now let me make something clear. The way we get a horse to spread its hind legs is by timing the cow. And when the cow stops, we stop the horse abruptly, meaning everything is right in time with the cow. And we use our reins, you know, immediately. In the instant the cow stops, bam, boy, we take a hold of the horse and stop him. And it's that abruptness that makes the horse spread its hind legs and grab the ground. Now, as important as that is, that's not what we do with a green horse on a cow, a horse that's just being started with the cow. We're not going to use our reins that abruptly. We're just going to, you know, lightly show him what we want him to do. And after he's been on a cow for several months and he understands the game, all right, then we're going to start using our reins abruptly. The instant the cow stops, boom, we're going to ask our horse to stop. And that'll make him spread his hind legs and grab the ground. That looks good. I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you when I upload a new video. Leave your comments and questions in the comment section below the video. Oh, and don't forget to go to my website and get that free membership. It'll give you access to all kinds of good stuff. I mean, you'll learn a bunch. I'll have a link to it down below also. Okay, that's all for now. Take care.